Hello. Um, so I am going to go over the basics of threading a sewing machine with you. Um, my son is videoing for me. Yep, there he is. Um, so we're going to try our best to show you what this is. I have a Husqvarna sewing machine. Um, so this machine, I can tell you, is going to be different than most machines you are going to have. But a lot of the basics are still the same no matter what machine you have. Um, so I have my all-purpose thread right here. Um, and uh, most machines, which is a little different, but a lot of machines will have the spooling mechanism for the thread. It, like mine is on the inside. A lot of times there will be one that will like rest on the top, something like that, or sometimes it will slide back here. Either one is still going to remain the same. So I'm going to take this. If your machine does have a horizontal um, thread holder, it will have a stopper on it. So like mine, this is the stopper that prevents my thread from flying off. Um, so I'm going to pull a little bit of thread. And the first thing is, is there's always going to be some kind of hook, some kind of device for the thread to go through right initially at the very beginning. Sometimes it will be along the top, like it will look like a little wheel that will sit up here. Um, mine happens to be right here. So first, I'm going to go through that. Next, on my machine, there is a hook here. Again, a lot of times there will... It, if it, it'll start up here, it will come down, and there will be a hook down this way. So it will go from that hook. My Mine then goes down through here, and then it has to go up. So there's always this, this same pattern of across, down, up. So now we go up, and there is a hook. So this hook lovely close-up there of said hook. Um, this hook moves as the needle goes up and down. And to get that, make sure that hook is facing up, on the side of your machine, there is going to be a wheel. The wheel, um, again, it just changes by, based on machine, but the wheel is what is going to make the needle go up and down. So, um, if you turn the wheel towards you, it makes it go forward. If you turn it away from you, it goes backwards. Um, so I have made sure this is up. Now that it is gone through this hook, it's going to go down one more time. And then there is going to be a little hook, again, at the top of the needle. So that's going to be right here. Again, no matter what kind of machine you have, there's always going to be some kind of little thread holding hook mechanism at the very top of the needle. Um, then I'm going to thread my needle. Now, some machines are super fancy ha and have um, needle threaders. Mine, even though it is fancy, does not have the needle threader. Womp womp. So I have just threaded my needle. Also, always make sure you're threading from the front going towards the back. So front of needle going towards the back. That's key. Um, and then I will send my thread through the hole in the foot. This is called the presser foot. And um, now this top thread is ready to sew. 